I loved working at the White House and it was an honor obviously to serve our country in that capacity. I try to keep them separate, my political interest and my artistic right. interest. But I will say for Sunnyside, you know, because the characters are based on real people, having had the chance to work on the DREAM Act under the Obama administration, you know, at that time it failed by five Democratic votes, really. It was Democrats that screwed the president on that. And through that process, you know, I was just working on the outreach team, but because of that, I was meeting people who were undocumented, people whose families were impacted by it, obviously huge advocacy organizations. That stuff stays with you, and it was, of course, the basis for some of the characters and some of their stories and the lives that they, they lived. Just like Matt, my co-creator, who did not work in politics, you know, he had interactions with folks similarly who ended up becoming characters in the piece. So I would that certainly wasn't the reason that I did it, nor was it the reason that we created the show. But it's kind of like everything influences everything. Yeah, your life and your yeah, your life experiences obviously influence it. And again, we want to be, uh, and I I think we are a, a a patriotic comedy, and that comes from someplace. There's a lot of the Michelle and Barack Obama world in this show, meaning that we're not mutually exclusive. You can watch this show as a smart person who likes dick jokes. Right. Like that's literally like, and loves America. Right. You know, that's kind of what I'm going for, which is why, you know, you stream four or five episodes with your friends and you don't feel like you have to pick and choose between whether you can pay attention to politics or whether you can make a joke.